So, I'm not sure if this is gonna be working out or it's all cool. Maybe a combination episode, or maybe these little fucking flaccid horns that I wear upon the crown of my head might just call themselves such as so. So, my arms have recovered because that 200 push up thing was fucking crazy. And they, not only my arms, my arms actually recovered pretty quick. But my stomach was shit. Like, it even hurt to cough. But I've recovered. And I'm here. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to work it out. So, um, I wrote down some quotes that I wanted to say during this next set of push-ups without destroying my arms and abs entirely. So I'm just pulling it up really quick. By the way, the song, I know, is probably going to be some copy strike issue. Chris Garneau. Uh The song is called Gentry. I think it's called Gentry. And the artist is uh, Chris... Chris Garneau. I'll post it. But, um... I don't know. Here we go. And I'm just gonna... See what I can read. While I do these. See what I can do. You know, <clears throat> because life, oh, this one is by Alan Watts, so life's weird, man. It's fucking silly. Make those memories, it's all you are after all. We're just this gaseous mess of memories and hope with neural networks that are trying to apply some sort of order to it all. And you, your conscious mind, your interpretation is the sum of all that crazy mess. Your consciousness is there, waving hello at you, trying to introduce itself. I'm Brain, wanna spin around a few times with me? pretty weird and pretty silly, but listen, you gotta feel dizzy and it's fucking fun. Are you gonna deny you? By the way, the last video I posted, that was fucking 200 push-ups over an hour. So, if you think about it, you know, that's a lot. I came from one. Let's do it. 626. Six. <sighs> Refer to that episode where I refer I'm 626, or where I refer I'm 13.8 billion years old. Life is completely irrelevant. It all comes down to our fucking memories. You haven't watched Russian Doll, I'm not going to spoil anything, but this is a quote, I think she said, either a quote Nichols said, or um, just something that they said in the show, but uh, we're all just Pinocchios trying to be best friends with our Jiminy's, we're all just bodies trying to be best friends with our brains, tomato potato, right? Real moment. This is for anybody, everybody. Fucking listen. I put this one here on purpose because this one helped me grow a lot. January was a very long year for me, and that's because of this quote. Through my self hate, I found self love. Through losing myself, I found myself. And through the darkness, I found me light. 
Well, I mean, I said my light, but I just added a little twist, so. Anyway, it's funny when you try so hard to be somebody else that you're not, that you become a better self that you can call yourself, you know? Let's face our fears, and let's face them together. In a bald aware world where we're under pressure, we're molding our lives and saturating our dyes. We don't need a kiln because we've never been fresher. Alright, this one. Alright, these push-ups are fucking tough. So, I remember long ago when myself and I were quite the opposing forces, nemeses. I was all pure white and myself was all pure black. I, the height, and myself, the depth. Not until we realized the only way to defeat each other is to learn each other's strategies inside and out. Can either one of us win? I figured I needed to know how to counteract and plan for myself's plan as thoroughly as I know me. Because he knew I. I am I. I need the strategy to be fluent. Fluid. Myself and I spent nearly 30 years mastering each other's strategies. We did, and we did so successfully, and we did so well. But the funny part is that as aggressively as we both tried to apply each other's studies to ourself, we didn't realize how much we depended on each other's self. We ended up discovering an entirely new perspective on our own life and found a solution that neither of us actually really ever expected. And never once would have we ever batted an eye at the strategy of ourself. Because I thought I was strong and so did he. Neither of us were ever so strong that we thought we needed to be. But we thought we didn't need ourselves, and we thought we could do it all on our own. But my self-strategy, my god, it's the same one as mine, down to the centimeter of attack. Each shield is compressed of the same metals, the same shapes. Each defensive wall and trench just as high and deep as my own. Each soldier chosen for the same exact reasons as I chose them for. Both strategies... Both strategies become identical, apparently identical. It was only then, after we had studied each other for years after years after years, our truest enemy, did we realize that we are the one and the same. We realized how closely our minds are, where intentions are the same, our thorough planning, our strategic cunning, even so, we still both knew what the outcome had to be. There still, no matter what, could only be one. And so, as we both knew, only one victor could be chosen, only one could survive, one could succeed, so what we did was the only result. We became us. I am I. That moment you try to define your own religion, but nothing fits, so you write your own. I, I wrote my own definition, and I called it I am I. It has nothing to do with the song, by the way. Um, so yeah, next set of push-ups, little story about work last night, so, seven people called out and I work at a, a retail store, I I'm, I'm probably mentioned it before, but I'm not going to mention it right now, blinking, um, it's funny, when somebody needs your help and you're able to help and you help them but when they ask why are you helping me you say because I don't have to and their reaction from you helping because you don't have to just boggles their mind 
and it forces a perspective shift whether they want to or not whether you accidentally meant to or not and uh it's it's weird because like the more you want to help just because you want to fucking help the more other people want to help just because they want to fucking help i can i want to do it for you because i don't have to i don't have to do that i'm not getting paid extra I have no benefit. I just, I don't have to. I want to. So, let me know if you guys think I should lock up my hair. I was thinking about that lately. Locking it up. Change the setup for lighting I have in here. Do you think I would look good with locks? I don't know. Let me know. I don't know. I used to have plaits and I used to have a uh, Cornrows. Um, I want to do some shit with this. So I'm allowed to grow it out now. That wasn't that many push ups, but again, like last time, it took me an hour to do that. So I'm going to have to count how many I just did right now. Probably not that much, but um, you know, it's just more of me doing something weird and fucking silly during a video other than just spinning so um you guys and like I see you guys fucking watching my shit like I don't even know why why do you guys watch me like can you please comment and let me know why you watch me like is it just because it's entertaining and it's something to watch on YouTube like people watch me it's so weird and I don't mind it because Anything I learn, I want to post it and I want to show you guys. By the way, I have been trying to lose weight, and uh, I've had I've, I've maintained 311 for like three weeks at one point, and then I went down to 309 uh, like five days ago, and today I'm 307 pounds. So it doesn't matter what breaks you, whether it's Love, life, relationships, disease, illness, fucking demotivation, lack of care, whatever the fuck is going on in your life. Yeah, you might not care, but you might care. And and wouldn't it be silly if you just tried? Like, what if you tried and it was literally, like, what if it worked out? What if you tried life and what if it was all cool? 